Hola, hola, and welcome to another session of character modeling with me, Steve Moore, aka S'more. Um, this week I'm taking a break from my regular scheduled programming because a few weeks ago, a month or so ago, uh, Serena had asked me if I could make a realistic lace-up dress, or in other words, laces, and I told myself at the time I'd take a look at it after I finished my current project, but when I realized that nobody seems to have published a good solution on this problem, I couldn't let this bone go. Um, so as it, as it, to the best of my knowledge, Marvelous Designer does not have a built-in solution for laces. You can make, they do for zippers and buttons, but not laces. So um, I took a look at it, and what you look, what you see here is my solution. It's, it is a demo, so it's a bit rough, um, but what follows is how I made laces in Marvelous Designer. I hope you enjoy it. Um, if you like this and you'd like to see more, please subscribe, hit the notification button. Um, thank you so much for everybody else that subscribed already and let's dig into laces. Okay, so to begin, I'm making a strip that I'm gonna call the laces strip. And this is, this is a little piece of material where we're gonna create some holes for our laces, right? Um, now, so that's easy enough. You just go up and uh, use the uh, create rectangle tool and draw out yourself a rectangle and um, just measure the sides that's going to stitch into you know you can do that by right clicking on the edge of the halter top there checking the line length and then right clicking on your rectangle lengths and choosing change uh, line length and setting those lengths to match not a problem Okay, so to make our the holes for our laces to, to fit through, I'm going to use the Create Ellipse tool, and I'm going to draw a little my first little um, ellipse here. And now we want to make um, a couple extra points that will define where our lace stitches into the ellipse, because we want the segment to be kind of equal to the width of the lace. So we choose the center point on the inside of our lace strip here, and we use the uh, line segments top and bottom and choose the change length option to set our length. So basically half the width of our lace top and bottom. Because I don't want my lace to uh, kind of conform perfectly to the whole of the, you know, the ellipse, I'm going to delete the uh, inside point and leave that straight. Now that might look a little bit odd, but you're not going to see it. And the net result is that it will, you know, it will appear that the lace has some thickness, you know, and um, you know it'll look, it'll look more natural. So there you go. So we'll make our first little um, lace hole. And once we're happy with that, we're going to right click on that. and choose copy and then choose paste and when we do that we're going to right click again so that we get the options box right and there we can choose how many holes we want by setting the number of interval so with a little trial and error I got um, a number of um, holes with the spacing I liked and and Bob Charanti so once once that's done all we have to do is select our our ellipses our holes and right click again and this time we're going to choose create hole wow now we actually have holes in our little lace strips cool now we're just going to mirror paste copy and mirror paste to create the other side which is the characters left so um, FYI, um, when you're working in production or, or you're, when we're talking about a character's left and right, we're always, um, I'm referring to the, the relative to the character. So the character's right hand, um, so, so the uh, right strip is relative to the character, not to the viewport, just, just to make, avoid confusion there. 
um, so now we have yeah so now we have our two strips I'm going to test so those into our our halter top here and you know I, it needed a bit of adjustment I needed to kind of tweak the fit here but I'm gonna I'm you know the focus here is making laces so I'm just going to gloss over that if you if you like um, more detail on on creating garments by scratch I do I will put a link in the uh, description below just um, to one of my uh, previous videos on creating a leather jacket which will take you from scratch through making a you know drawing out the patterns and all that good stuff but for now let's just focus on laces okay so now we're going to start creating our laces and we are going to do these as a series of segments so I will use that create rectangle tool once again and draw out a, 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 a approximation of what the thick you know what the thickness of my lace is going to be and and how roughly wide I intend it to be um, being sure to kind of make the end points the line segments match um, the line segments of our openings for them like the holes there and once I've got that we're going to do a test so um, and for our initial test here we're just going to we're just going to stitch them horizontally but don't worry our end goal here is to make diagonal overlapping laces but first we're just going to stitch it in and just kind of you know see what we get here just see what happens all right so I, I deleted the sewing that was holding the two halves of our halter top together so now it is just the laces that are holding both halves together it's so it's looking a little bit more like what we're going for so we're still gonna we're still planning to do diagonal overlapping laces but this is just just to kind of check out the physics okay and so there you go it's it's all right but I'm not I'm not happy with the way it's kind of pulling further apart at the center there I really want these guys to be kind of more vertical and you know there's a few ways you could approach that you could adjust the width of the laces perhaps you could adjust the warp or add elastic, elast, elasticity to it but I'm gonna cheat there's a much easier way and so because I want these these laces to be kind of pretty much vertical and evenly spaced what I'm gonna do is create a placeholder strip of material that we're gonna stitch right down the center now this is only placeholder we're gonna delete it later um, but it's just gonna make our lives easier I'm using that create rectangle tool again to make our little center strip and doing a test sim and much better right so now now our lace strips are much more vertical the way I want them a little bit more evenly spaced there uh, so the um, with the center strip active I'm gonna choose hide 3d pattern and what this does is it's still affecting the garment it's just not visible so there you go so now we just see it we see a gap where you know where our little placeholder piece is actually hiding okay ladies and gentlemen so this is the meat of this little demo here so how do we get diagonally overlapping laces and here's the trick it's all about layers so I've frozen you'll see I've left um, the top strip horizontal because as you know laces usually start with kind of a horizontal strip and then they start weaving in and out of the lace holes so we I've frozen that first piece in you know first piece and I've also frozen the other pieces for now and we'll just focus on one lace right so if you look if you select the lace you'll find under simulation properties or well the property editor here, you'll find under simulation properties for that piece um, you'll see a field called layer so what we're going to do is we're going to set um, the the layer for the lace is going to be two right and the uh, right strip which it's which is going to sit on top of it is going to be number three so number two will simulate underneath layer three so that way the the little lace is going to stitch in and it's going to sit behind um, the lace hole now on the other side the left side of the character 
we're going to set that that little strip of 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 um, lace holes to layer one, which means that the little lace will stitch on top of layer one and underneath layer three. So simply put, left side um, lace holes are going to be layer one, the lace itself layer two, and our right side is going to be layer three. And that way we get it to weave under and over. Once we've got our layers set up, all we need to do is stitch um, our first lace in, remembering you know you're going to start from the top hole and then you're going to stitch the left side one hole down for a diagonal. All right, all right. So first one done. Um, it's all downhill from now. We you know that's that's the meat that's the meat of it. And now we just have to repeat that process for the rest of this side and flip it for the other. All right, so once we've got the first lace working, all we have to do is repeat the process for the remaining laces um, for let's say the uh, right to left side, right? So we've got, so we'll just stitch those in. Of course, you're stitching from um, one hole above to one hole below. So you get the diagonal and we sim that and there we go we're halfway we're literally halfway there but the, the the remaining section is going to be so much easier right so so we stitch those in and bob zaranti we've got some diagonal laces now for the overlap so to finish we make uh, another set of laces just like the first and this time okay what we're going to do is freeze the existing laces right so they're sorting correctly where you know so as far as that goes we're happy all we have to do is freeze those in place and it doesn't matter what we do next right so we you know the trick here is basically layers and freezing the stuff you're you know you're done with right to freeze you just right click on the piece of material and you choose freeze so we freeze those laces and now all we have to do is flip the order of the layers right so so now the right side of our um, lace strips becomes layer one and the left side is now layer three and the laces themselves can remain layer two the laces now sort in the opposite direction so you know we do that stitch them in and in Bob Zirante. Now it's worked for the most part. There's a couple of stragglers here, but don't worry. All you have to do is grab the move tool, give them a little tug, and then they pop into place because of the layer order. And there you go, overlapping laces. So I'm quite happy with that. Now this is just a demo, um, but I think I it's definitely inspired me. I want to, I want to take this and make like a, a proper dress out of this. I think it would be a lot of fun. Um, it makes a, a nice, interesting detail. Now, if you're now, I, I admit that this is a bit of a Cinderella scenario, right? So right now, if we unfreeze the stuff and re resim it, um, the laces are gonna are gonna break. But the way, you no. Know, so, but not to worry. Like, so let's suppose that you wanted to. Um, pose the character right all you really have to do is just temporarily s fix your let your fix your layer order so that you've got one set of laces that's sorting on top you know so so one diagonal is, is sits on top of both the uh, lace strips and one sits on the bottom and then you could then you could run the sim and it's not going to break um, and when you're ha when you're finally happy you just go in and you just repeat the process that we just went through you know set, set your layer order up sim one half and then do you know and then flip that process for the other half Bob's your auntie you're done you've got laces and you can you know take it into ZBrush if you like or you know whatever you need to do with it there you go laces all right, so that's it for laces. And uh, next next session, we're going to get back on track. And 
I'm finishing up, I am finishing up this model I've been working on for a while. Um, very excited about sharing that with you. I've been full steam, full bore on that. Thank you so much to everybody who subscribed. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Um, thank you for the messages, the comments, um, all of that. And I hope you, I wish you all well. And until next time, happy morning.